Every day when we walk out of the house, we have to truly ask ourselves, which version of ourselves are we prepared to show to the world? If you walk out of your house with no idea as to who you are or how you're feeling, how you are gonna handle situations that occur to you in life that day, you are automatically prepared to fail and are going to fail. When you walk out of your house, circumstances are gonna be thrown at you. Some stuff you can't control. You drop your coffee cup, it spills over your clothes. You miss your bus for school or work. You lock your keys inside your car. Somebody comes up to you, steals your bag and runs away. If you aren't prepared, those circumstances are prepared to change you. But what's supposed to happen is you are supposed to control the circumstances based on how you are gonna react to what happens when they do happen. This morning, I spilled my coffee when I came into my room. That's a circumstance. Now I can easily have that spoil my whole day it can ruin my whole mood but if I allow for that to happen then I am welcoming more negative things to happen in my life and it's gonna be a chain reaction of bad things that happen to me so instead I pick up the cup I throw it away I smile and I control that circumstance it's really important throughout your day to stop take a deep breath and internalize how you're feeling and who you are and what you're going to do and how you're gonna to react to the world. You control the circumstances. The circumstances do not control you. Good morning to the best family on YouTube. Rah! With the grind don't stop, he stays green, and the lions stay I really did drop my Starbucks when I came in, but it was all foam, so whoever made me the cappuccino, you did no good, baby girl. Throw it away. Look at myself and smile. It's just a cappuccino. Here I am leaving my hotel. I'm ready for whatever the world has in store for me because I know who I am and I'm ready to handle any circumstance that comes my way. As long as there's no enemy inside me, no enemy on the outside can do me no harm, so I'm not scared to walk out this. I was vlogging. I beat him out. Baby in red. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Don't change the topic. Look at Roman in a fresh tall tee. I like this. It feels a good. A tall tee, I'm baby. I'm so sure it feels good to have a tall tee. You know how many white guys in my high school used to wear triple XL really? tall tees? Oh, yeah. That used to be the thing. My high school was nothing but Carhartt jackets and uh, overalls. I would love more than anything to show my good friend, my brother, Pablo, in the vlog right now. But unfortunately, they're only at 115,000 likes. They haven't got 150 yet. I can't believe it. I thought I had more support than that. <laughs> oh, wow, see? <laughs> it's there, it's there. Pablo, I woke up to so many hate messages. Like, I blocked people off Instagram. You self-centered piece of crap. How are you not gonna tag Pablo? You don't want him to be famous. You want all the fame for yourself. No, they shouldn't hate you. And everybody else tagged me all the way down the comments. Oh, I know. Anyway, you're, so. My vlog <laughs> did the opposite because your numbers went all the way up. <laughs> That's right. And guys, about tagging on Instagram, a little fun fact. Roman has never tagged me in a picture and doesn't even tag Brittany. And I'm you not mad about it. Why? Because I've asked you for two years to follow me and you refuse to. You don't even follow me. That's such the a lame guy, excuse. The guy that you call your brother, you don't even follow me. That's <laughs> such a lame excuse. All I follow is Dollar and Muffin. Way before you followed Dollar and Muffin, I was begging. You're not going to be my only. <laughs> I'll be your second. <laughs> I followed I'll one girl. Third, bro. I followed one girl who I was in love with and I dated her. Her numbers went all the way up because Not she was the own. only person I followed. Uh, you know, if you and fo then we broke up. If you follow me, you're only going to go up. Eat it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyways, what's up, St. Louis? We're here to bring you the worldwide, world famous. For Just kidding. We're here to bring you the Roman vs. Fusi tour, so get ready. Roman, guess what? What? Remember that girl? I don't know what city we were in. I was like, I want to go up to her. I just want to say yeah. hi in your vlog. Yeah. And you dared me to do it, and yeah. I didn't do it. Her friend tweeted me and you today with a picture of her and said, Hey, that's my good friend Paola. But and we didn't even show her in the vlog. We How would did. she did. We did. She wasn't in the vlog. She was in one of our vlogs. Not she has mine. to be. Then not she was mine. in mine. Oh, yeah, maybe. She must have been in a vlog. She was not in my vlog. She was in your vlog. All you seen is the back of her head. And how the, how in the world did this girl send me the exact picture of her? It was her? Yes! And then I DM'd her and I said, please show her the video. And she said, I already did. She's cracking up. <laughs> you know what my next message is going to be? <laughs> it ain't no fun unless the homies can guess. Uh, it ain't no fun. <laughs> in case you guys are wondering who it is, it's this girl right here on the left. Her name is Paola. 
She's a fitness model. <laughs> Roman has memorized my whole Roast Yourself Challenge this tour. Pretty much. He can do it line Pretty for line. Much. Do that verse, do that yeah, verse. When, when, it's, when it's on, I can do it. But do that verse you just did. Uh, I just you just said it, you no, just, just said it. it. No, I can't. You said um, the Arab community won't ex- Yes, I'm public. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, you can't. said it, you I said can't. it. Okay, you put me on the spot, dog. You put me on the spot, dog. I have to bust out V for vanilla, come at you hard. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? V for vanilla. <sighs> oh, I hit my head. So we're about to do the meet and greet. So I'm about to chill here for a little bit. This is like my therapist couch when I'm at my therapy appointments. Roman, be my therapist. What do you want to talk about, Fuzzy? Why'd you come to see me today? There's just, I feel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can already tell that you yeah. feel. I can already tell that you feel. How can I get past that? I mean, one of the best things that I can recommend you yeah. is um, a little more sleep. Okay. And you need to get on a better diet. Oh my gosh, I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. Hey Pablo, you wanna know how many likes they're at? I would love to know. Okay, it's currently 4.20 p.m. Your day is running out, but they are at 119,000 likes. Okay, okay. They're coming. So by the end of the show. We might see an appearance of Pablo today, guys. That's why you always gotta thumbs up the vlogs, man. So to give you guys a little update, today is my fifth day of sobriety. I'm feeling so happy, I'm feeling like I'm actually communicating with people. I'm actually talking to people. I'm actually like feeling the connection between them without being isolated and just to myself. So congratulations to everybody who's trying to kick something and is also on their fifth day or even if you're on your first day. But I can't get over the Brubra's rap from last night. This line just blew my mind. He said, so you lost your sobriety in your sixth day? Oh, well, I'm happy to say it happened one time out of six days instead of six times in six days. Yeah, you lost your sobriety on day six. You did it one time in six Six days, not six times, and six days of gave me shivers, so thank you for that, Barbara. So while I gave that, Roman was sitting right next to me. Watch this, guys, watch this. So happy, I'm feeling like I'm actually communicating with people. <laughs> <laughs> he watched the whole thing. Believe it or not, she doesn't like when I vlog her, but believe it or not, Turn into a she's been here for four shows. Today is her first, fourth, I gotta do it again. <laughs> believe it or not, this beautiful lady here has been here for four shows. Tonight is her fourth show. Now I'm getting recognized. Okay. You're getting recognized. Yeah. Is that why you keep coming? <laughs> You're turning into playing. Pablo. Oh, I showed him on the vlog. I gotta blur that. I gotta blur that. <laughs> She's amazing. Thank You're you amazing. so much. You. It's his 30th oh, birthday yeah, today. Dirty 30. Who you wanna shout out? I wanna shout out Madison, Alana, Darian, and Javon. Are those your kids? Jared. Yeah, all of them. You forgot about Jared? Oh, no. How are you gonna forget no. about Jared? Jared's mine. Oh, Jared's yours. Jared's okay, mine. Okay. Forget about Jared, Jared, we didn't forget about you. Happy birthday, 30th birthday. They're here about to get turned. Yeah. <laughs> he came with a deck of cards in his hand, and I knew he wanted to show us a magic trick. So, DJ, please drop that beat. Let's go. Wait, tell you stop. Okay. Stop. My background is video production, so I'm good. <laughs> Can you do it again, or is it a one-time trick? No. It's... Okay, go. Okay, so you see these deck of cards? I see them. Okay, so tell me when to stop again. Okay. Stop. Okay, now that's the seven of spades. Oh. Ooh. Good job. They're so flossy. This one, this one says DOF, and this one says Roman. Thank you. Yeah. Of course. Um, shout out to my mom and my stepdad for bringing me here. Oh, that's awesome. Give me a hug. This gentleman comes up right now. He has the exact beard I want. Cause I'm growing <laughs> mine, my first ever beard. How am I doing so far? You're looking good, man. Looking good, but Check I want in. this. Like you have depth. Well, you know what? You get in about in four or five years, you'll get the gray too. Four or five years. Oh, no. How long years. until it dips? Ten years. Uh, give yourself about a month. <laughs> a month? Yeah. And this, All right. this isn't age. This is I was painting earlier, and I got too close to the wall. <laughs> so. <laughs> so hopefully mine looks like that soon. If you wonder what I'm gonna look like, it's right here. Right here, exactly. Yeah. Roman is in the bathroom per usual, but he has some friends <laughs> who came to visit him. What's up, guys? And they brought me a gift too. So I asked if I could open it on the vlog. Absolutely. They said I was gonna like it. You're gonna love it. Love and it. I'll explain it to you after you see it okay but our motto is which you'll see in a second with the other thing that's in there is love harder think smarter and i know that's something you're trying to implement hardcore mm -hmm. every day right all now. day yeah okay so the grind don't stop you smile more and now you love harder and there you smart. go love harder i don't know what it was talking like this. oh oh got it. you were a wrestler in your past got life. it oh this is awesome so i know you love 
tanks. Yes. Flip it over. Oh! <laughs> I didn't see it at first. So look, this says love harder, things smarter. The backside is a lion clawing through. That, that is awesome. That is actually not just something like ripped off the internet. I individually made each one of those to look like aggressive, but still kind of clean. That's awesome. Because I know that's how you carry yourself. Thank so. you so much. You're I welcome. That. You know, I always see comments from the haters, obviously, the supporters would never do this because they understand. What do they do on stage? Where is their talent? They don't do anything. Do they just fake pranks? <laughs> it makes me laugh, man. Not only because I'm a theater student, not only because I've been trained and I know what to do on stage, not only because I know how to do stand-up comedy, not only because I am ready to take over and start my career as a motivational speaker, just because when you undermine somebody and fail to see any of the good they do and they don't see any of the inspiration that I give back to you guys, in the vlog every day and all the motivation but they choose to see one element of you and define your whole character based on just that element it's very funny man a lot of people like to close both eyes when you do something good but keep both eyes open when you do something bad thank you to all of you guys who show continuous support and i hope you guys enjoy the segments of the show which i'm going to show you tonight <sighs> I needed Roman here with me for me to talk to you guys about this because this is pretty big. Roman, can you show them what we're going to talk about? My tattoos. His tattoos. He loves the tattoos. Roman thought it would be a good idea if on tour mm. to create like a special memory, we both get tattoos together. He wants to get, I'm not going to say, and I know what I would get. But here's the thing. As a lot of you guys know, there's a very personal story as to why I'm getting this tattoo removed right here. You guys know what the story represented. You know what happened to me in my life. So a lot of you, when I tweeted about this yesterday, were super against it. You literally said, no, you are not doing it. No, 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 no. There's a whole nother side to the story as to how I actually feel about getting this removed. And I released a personal statement last year about it as how I don't regret getting the tattoo. I regret getting the tattoo removed. Long story short, either in Toronto or Orlando, we have an opportunity to get tatted and I would cover this up. So I want you guys to let me know, honestly, as my family, no judgment. I don't allow any judgment here on Dosa Fusi. I want to hear what you guys think about me getting tatted. Here's my opinion. Can I just tell you? Do it. And you guys, you guys can, you guys can say whatever you want, but you see this? That's not going anywhere. Like it's there. Mm -hmm. You might as well put something nice and pretty over it. It's not going anywhere. It's he's just making scars like you might as well cover it up I think that's my opinion, but I respect your choice no matter what so let me know what you guys think So tell me why I went on an anti Pablo speech yesterday, and I said it was now the downfall of Pablo He went up about 20,000 followers on Instagram since sure then. Did. Yeah, he did. I should be his publicist because it was actually reverse psychology And I got him more followers. Got you. Got you. How you feel about that Pablo? I thank you so much for that um, But yeah, don't show me for like another two weeks, so then I'll have like 500,000 followers <laughs> Well, they're almost That'd at 150,000 <laughs> likes. Oh man. They're almost there. So what the do you want to say to your fans? They've been dying to talk to you all day I mean, I love you guys. I miss you and the return of Pablo is coming. The return of Pablo is coming. It might happen later tonight. So yesterday my mom called me and she said I was making Pablo too big in my vlogs. Did you guys see that or no? My mom didn't want it to happen to Pablo, so I told him I'm no longer going to put him in the vlog. If we got 150,000 likes on today's vlog, we would be able to free Pablo. It's currently at 142,000, so 8,000 more and he gets to be in the vlog. What I want you guys to do right now is do this with me. Free Pablo! Free Pablo! Free Pablo! Free Pablo! Woo! How do you feel about that, Pablo? I love all the support from everybody here and everybody on your vlog, and uh, hopefully I'll get back on it one day. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Eating with Pussy. Today we have a witch witch sandwich. So there's not much instruction for a witch witch. All you want to do is enjoy each bite. So. Is this eating with Pussy? Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. I like what you're doing with your life. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys are in the vlog, by the way. Alright, guys. So I told him I'm gonna do something that I don't normally do in the show. So check this out. Now they wanna be loud. They've been asleep the whole show. Now I put on my camera. Hey! Check this out, check this out. Last night I was going through all my old emails on the tour bus, I couldn't sleep. I found, what a lot of you don't know is I used to do spoken word poetry. I found a spoken word poem that I wrote for my college girlfriend and I wanna perform it for you here tonight. This poem 
It's called Christina's Love. I swear to you, not only did I re write this for her, I performed it in our college cafe in front of a lot of people. I'm not proud of this. I'm not performing this because I'm proud of this. This is one of the most embarrassing things I've ever done in my life. But if any boyfriends are in here with your girlfriend, get ready for her to hit you and say, why don't you ever write me like that? Watch. And this is the first time I've performed this since college, a lot of years ago. So I'm just gonna read it. Thump, 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 thump. It's all I felt and heard as I stared at her in class. My fingers were sweating so much that it was as if I had them dumped in a bucket. My face was glistening from the sweat penetrating, from the sweat penetrating across my forehead. You know that feeling you get when you are nervous for no apparent reason? While my head was spinning, my stomach was rumbling in my head, and I had trouble breathing. Within a split second, I swallowed my fears, held down my breath, and asked her for a paper and pen. Scribbled a note and passed it. Started off with now today's relationship. When she's around me, my heart beats and chills travel down my spine as I try to hold back my emotions. With each look into her eyes, my problems get erased and my head spins at a fast pace. Her presence can't be described, but for some reason I know I love when she's around. Wondering what she's thinking about arouses me more than what I want her to do to me. Her intellectual and philosophical side turns me on more than her cute lips and her thin hips. While most guys want to get under her clothes and expose the beauty that lies within, I literally want to get within and expose the boot that special treat. I want to give it up to my brother Roman. You guys don't know that this happened St. Louis, but before the show started, 
Roman went to the bathroom and he threw up everywhere. Threw up everywhere. And then he walked into the room and he was like, the show must go on. And he delivered tonight with more energy than he's ever given. So, shout out. Thank you, man. Thank you. I felt 100% fine. And like that, I, I ate at the hotel. That's where I ate. And then, man, I must ate something bad. It killed me. But there's a quote in theater that says the show must go on. So, no matter what happens, even if you get a call and somebody in your family passed away, the thing is, the show, no, it's really, that's a real thing. In theater, the Bro, show must go on. Yeah, if, if someone in my family passes away, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna let you do the show. <laughs> well, I know. Imagine I get a call. Oh, I'm not even gonna say it. Take it out. Oh, I was about to say dollar and off in. That's the least of your worries. What? I you mean, out of your family, you're gonna compare puppies uh, to a family? Anyways, guys, I got a big announcement. Pablo is 2,000 likes away from being back into the vlogs. I'll put his. This is how much you guys have unlocked, and everything. <laughs> all that's missing is his neck. So Pablo, talk. They can see your Adam's apple move. Uh, that's awkward, but I'm uh, I'm glad we're getting so close. It's like Back to the Future, where the guy's head, except we're doing it in it's reverse. Like yeah, you're almost there. Do you believe in them? I believe. Okay. Absolutely. I'm ready to be back. A big shout out to the crew each night at each venue and arena who does so much work to put these shows on. So thank you guys so much. You're the real MVPs. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? Thank you so much. Thanks for coming tonight. Thanks for coming tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Hi, thanks for being here. What's up, baby? Hey, hey, hey. Just got back to the hotel room, and you guys have officially broken 150,000 likes. So tomorrow's vlog is the return of Pablo. I truly hope that when you guys watch these vlogs, you understand that they're for entertainment. And like, when we do something like we're doing with Pablo, we're all in on the joke and it's not like I hope you guys understand what I'm saying here like when the cameras come off we're all laughing about it before the cameras roll we know what's about to be said it's like we're all a family like this tour is all one big family we're having the best time off camera so I truly hope I truly hope I'm, I'm translating what I'm saying right now and you guys know that like me and Roman teasing Pablo and all of that stuff is all part of the joke and we're all in on it so yeah I'm glad you guys are enjoying it, man. Pablo is the greatest. He still wants his merchandise to come out. We're just still trying to figure out what to come out. We thought Pablo for President 2020. We thought Free Pablo. We thought, like, we're thinking about a bunch of ideas, but we want to get it right. So expect shirts and hats to come out on dosafusi.com really soon. Before I rest up and get ready to go to Toronto, I just want to say this. I admire you guys. The reason I admire you guys is because, you know, at school, if all the cool kids looked at a certain person, and said that person's not cool the cool thing was to not be cool with that person there have been many times in my career where a lot of people pointed at me and said like f fussy tube or fussy's fake or fussy's not funny or fussy's this or fussy's that you guys have had every opportunity not to support me and close both of your eyes like i talked about earlier but you guys choose to actually listen to what i say in these vlogs and actually understand me as a person so i truly admire the fact that you guys are my family in that sense no one will ever understand what we have like you guys are the type of people a hater will go up to you and be like why do you like fussy like what does he do they don't need to understand they don't need to get the connection that we have it's like if you're happy in a relationship ain't nobody on the outside needs to understand why you guys are together even if you don't look like the perfect match the only people who need to understand are the people in the relationship and that's why I mess with you guys and that's why I love you guys so much and that's why you guys keep me grinding so hard and that's why I'll see you tomorrow in Dosa Fusi where the grind don't stop the tea stays green and the lion stay roaring and don't forget Pablo is free! Rah! Amen. <laughs>